Hi, I'm Rachel from Gentle Frog, and in today's video of QuickBooks Training, we'll talk about how to set up products and services in QuickBooks Online. I'm in the sample QuickBooks Online file that I've created for my training videos. To get started, I'll have you click on the gear in the upper right hand corner. In the second column over for list, I'll have you click on products and services. The products and services list is the drop down list of the stuff that you're going to sell when you create an invoice or a sales receipt. So I'll show you what it looks like on the invoice and then we'll come back to the products and services list. To get to the invoice, you'll click on the plus sign in the upper right hand corner. Under the column for customers, you'll select invoice. And then here's products and services. And this is where I pick what am I going to be selling? So to create this list, um, again, you just go back to the gear. So to create the list, you go back to the gear under the column for a list, you click on products and services. In the upper right hand corner, you'll click on the green new. And then you'll indicate what kind of product or service are you adding. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to add a service. So to do this, I click on service and then I give my service a name. So I'm going to call it um, training video, training video service. I'm not going to give it a SKU. I'm not going to complicate it and give it a category or a class. I'm going to keep it really simple for this video. The description is the default description that I would like to have appear when I create an invoice or a sales receipt. So this is the, the default description. And this is sold for $100,000. When I sell this, I'm going to assign it to the income account called services. I can have whatever income account I want. What that means is when I sell somebody, a, the product or service called training video service and I sell it for apparently $100,000, where would I like it to show up on my profit and loss report? So I'm going to choose the income account for training income. In your chart of accounts, you'll have different words here and you'll have different income accounts. You'll pick the income account that you want it to show up as on your profit and loss. I'm skipping over taxable and letting you worry about that later. I'm not going to be discussing the sales tax because it varies from state to state. We're going to go ahead and skip purchasing information because we're not purchasing this from a vendor. This is a service that we're selling. So oftentimes if you have a service based business, you're just selling your brain. And so I want to show you how to create uh, the services for that. In the lower right hand corner, we'll click on save and close. I want to show you what the invoice looks like with that service in it. And then I want to show you how it shows up on the profit and loss. So to create the invoice, I'm going to click on the plus sign in the upper right hand corner. On the left hand side under customers, I'm going to go to invoice. I'm going to choose sample customer and then training video. I'm going to sell them one training video. Um, I'm going to say save and close. So now let me pull up the profit and loss so you can see what it looks like on there. On the left hand side, I'm going to click reports. And then in the first box that appears, it's my favorites box. I'm going to go ahead and select profit and loss. My profit and loss is default to show me last month. So I'm just going to go ahead and change it to today's date because I want to show you what it looks like on the profit and loss. So now you can see I have training income of $1,000. Remember, when we set up the product and service, we gave it a name, but then we later assigned it to the specific income account on our profit and loss report. That's going to be really useful if you have a bunch of things you sell, but you only want a couple categories on the profit and loss for your income. I want to show you a couple of things you can do with the products and services list. If you click on the gear in the upper right hand corner and go to list and then products and services. Right now, I've got my products and services list and there's a couple of things I can do. I can sort it by name by clicking on the word name, sorts it alphabetically by name. I can sort by type. In this case, I only have one type. I can sort by sales description. 
Sales description is the description that I've typed in that's automatically going to default on my invoices. I have my sales price, I can start by that. You get the idea. If I look at this and I say, you know what, I want to change something about my product or service, like in this case, training video service, maybe I want to change something there. I can come over to the right hand side and click on edit. I can then rename it. Um, so training video service, I'm going to put custom in front of it. And then this is the default description, but I can update it. And then I've decided to make it $100 instead of $100,000. I would still like it to go to training income, but if I changed my mind, if I wanted to go somewhere else, I could just change it here. Once I'm satisfied, I can click save and close. The next time I create an invoice, it's going to update that information. So I'm going to make a new invoice for sample customer. Choose custom training video. If I didn't know what it was called, um, I could just click the drop down and then find it on the list. I can change this something else. So whatever you need to do here, um, you can sell multiple versions, you can change. You can also add to it. So if I realize that at this moment, I would also like to make a, a some other service that I'm offering, I can click on this drop down and the drop down is under the heading product service. And then I can select add new. I can add a new service, new service. And then the description, awesome description for new service. And this service will be $99. This time I want the income to go to the income account called services and not training income. When I'm satisfied, I can click save and close. And then it's added to my invoice. It will be available to me for future invoices as well. So I hope this video was helpful. If you get stuck or if you have questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. Thanks.